2023 is about to come and we are gonna get confident right now, right here. Hi guys, my name is Liz and welcome back to my channel. Let's get right into it. First things first, I want you to create a would you buy it mentality. What do I mean by this? Would you buy it mentality is basically when you are a business owner and you're selling a product uh, or you're selling a service, that product and service has to be so good to you, right? That you would even buy it yourself. Because if you would buy it yourself, you can sell that thing with conviction and people are much more likely to buy it and actually feel some authenticity in what you're selling. You to create this mentality about yourself look at yourself and think like, would I date myself? Yeah, because at the end of the day, if we really become comfortable with ourselves, if we really work on ourselves, if we become self-aware about our pros and cons, we can become a person that is attractive to ourselves. And other people will be attracted to that when you would date yourself, when you can literally look at yourself and be like, I would date myself. I literally think that I'm an amazing human being. Other people will feel the same way. Focus on what you can control. So your self-talk, your words, uh, how you talk about yourself, how you talk about other people, your attitude towards life. Is it, uh, oh no, I'm the victim or you know what? I'm gonna fix this. I do not see problems, I see solutions. Look at on social media. Are you looking at things that make you insecure and that make you compare yourself? Or are you looking at things that can educate you where you can learn new skills? Uh, people that lift you up, make you feel more positive. The foods you eat, what you put inside of your body, um, if, if you constantly eat fast food, processed foods that make you feel sluggish and bad about yourself, or if you actually want to put good nutrients inside of your body because you care about this vessel. Your boundaries, how firm are you on them? How, how do you allow people to treat you? Are you serious about them? You can have boundaries, but not be serious about them. If you say, for example, right, this is my boundary, I do not like it when you do this to me, but then that person does that and you just allow them to do it, then okay, you're not serious about your boundaries, so that person is also not gonna be serious about your boundaries. Do not focus on things you cannot control, like um, your past, your past doesn't exist. The past is literally not there. It's only a thought in your head. It does not exist. That's it. Um, your future. You also don't control your future. We do not know what is going to happen. We can try our best to make it the best possible outcome. But at the end of the day, we do not know what is going to happen. Other people's beliefs, other people's opinions. Who cares? Literally, who cares about them? Like, it's about you. You are the main character of your life. So start acting like it. Other people say or think about you. You know, my mom, she said this to me. Uh, there was a saying and she said, Liz, you can go lie flat on the ground for people to walk all over you. And those people will start complaining that you're not flat enough. It's true. People, you cannot control them. Not their beliefs, not their thinking. Not. It's none of your business. What other people think about you is none of your business. Confidence is about knowing who you are, right? Um, if you do not know who you are or how to define yourself, focus on who you are not. I, for example, I know that I am not a revengeful person. So I'm, I'm the opposite. Like I, I forgive. I do not forget, but I forgive people. I know that I'm not a lazy person. I know that if I want something, I will work for it. I'll have the discipline to work for it and actually get what I want. I know that I'm not an uneducated person. I like educating myself. I like learning new skills. I like listening to other people's opinions and other people's beliefs. I like always making my mind bigger and bigger and more open to new things. Take a paper and write down who am I not. And that way you can become more self-aware of yourself. What you can also do is go on Pinterest and look up shadow work questions. Shadow work is basically trying to figure out who you are and, and it relates to childhood. You will see all these questions pop up, write them down and um, answer the questions for yourself. So you can create that connection with yourself, create routines. See why school, why we are in school is so amazing is because we have a routine. We wake up at a certain time, we have to go to school, then in school we have this less, then we have a uh, break, whatever, and it's a whole routine. Our lives are based on routines. But then when we get out of school, we're left out in like adulthood and we don't know what to do. So now it's for us to decide what do we do. But in order to make your life more structured, you need to create new routines for yourself. 
for example i wake up i like to go to yoga um i like to go um walk around and i like to do a gratitude meditation i like to do my skincare i like to shower myself that is routine for me and then i also have a nighttime nighttime routine before i go to bed right so i have routines immediately when I wake up because it sets me up for a really organized day. Obviously, you won't feel like uh, doing this every single day. I have days where I don't follow my routines or something happens. You can never predict things. Um, this is okay, right? But I have the basis of what my routine is. So even if I don't feel like it, I can kind of know what I'm going to do the next day because I have a base routine. Get your money up, not your funny up. Listen, if you are out of a job right now, just go find a job anywhere, anything, literally. The one thing I have always done in my life is I have worked because I want money. I do not feel confident in myself if I don't have money because uh, I, like, I, can't, I can't even go out with my friends. I'm not the kind of person I, I will allow my friends just to pay for me and stuff. No, I will stay home, literally, if I have no money because I do not want to go out and them like constantly paying for me. Um, so I, I, I see confidence in my successes. I see confidence in um, the fact that I have a job, I have money. It doesn't matter what kind of job you have, okay? It doesn't have to be your career job, whatever. Something to make you money. I literally cleaned toilets. When I was 12, I would literally buy like waffles in a whole pack, right? And I would sell like one waffle door to door. I would like decorate it and I would sell it door to door for like hours and hours on end like knocking on every single door and I would make money that way. I was always focused on like trying to create money for myself. And people with this kind of drive that have always had that, they really do become successful because they do not care about, oh, it's an embarrassing job, whatever. No, I worked even with grown men carrying heavy boxes because that would make me money. Now at the end of the day, when I did accomplish, like I'm, I am very well accomplished, thank God. Um, and I, I did everything I want. I can walk with confidence because I really feel proud of myself and I am confident in myself and in my abilities because I can see Liz, Liz you can do whatever, literally, whatever I set my mind to, I can accomplish because I have the drive and I have the will. And the art of communication. Communication is one of the biggest reasons people can be confident, people can be successful. Your, the way you talk to people is very important because you can leave an imprint on them and you never know who you're talking to. It can be a, a, a person that can literally change your uh, life overnight because people always focus on the outward and like the physical appearance, which is also important. I'm not saying that's not important, but physical will only get you so far. The way you talk to people and the way you make people feel when they talk to you is a big, big positive thing and is a thing that will get you so far in life. I remember um, I was talking to my neighbor once um, when I was uh, living in the country where I grew up and I was just talking to her. I never talked to her before and she literally at the end of my conversation, she stopped me. She's like, Liz, you should literally do something with communication because the way you talk is insane. Like literally you should do a career that has something to do with communication. And before that, like I did at that time, I didn't know I wanted to do like I, I was going to do YouTube or things like that, you know. And I was like, oh, okay. So my communication is very communication is important in all aspects of life. Your relationship. You, everyone who has been in a long-term relationship knows it all comes all it all comes down to communication. If you, you are not able to communicate uh, correctly with your partner, the relationship will also not last. Family, friends, everyone, bosses, every every single person around you you should learn how to communicate with people. Um, I have read books about this. So one book that helped me is The Art of People. And the other one is How to Win Friends and Influence People. These two books are very good about communication. And how can you learn to communicate better? Literally go out and socialize with people. You can learn all the books you want. You can get all the knowledge you want. But at the end of the day, if you do not mingle with people and if you don't, don't surround yourself with different types of people and talk to them, you cannot put this into practice and you will fail at this. So if you talk to different people, you will see they, they, these people are kind of weird. They, they have weird quirks. Everyone is kind of different, different cultures, different mentalities. Also, when you travel a lot, you see this. 
Um, but then you also learn like, oh, okay, with this person, I have to be like this. Because in life, we have to be kind of like a chameleon. You cannot act the same way with everyone because it will not be received the same way. You know, people have different cultures, different beliefs. So what you, for example, say to a very open-minded person, you cannot say to a very religious person because it will not be received the same way. It's not that you're not being authentic to yourself. No, it's more that there should be certain respect also with other people and their beliefs. When you go out and you talk to lots of people, male, female, you will learn so much, not only about them, but also about yourself in the way you react to them, in the way you are, you are able to communicate with them. Start wearing glasses and look people in the eyes. And this is a practice, why? Basically, uh, I grew up and I was always told to look down always told to look down look down so that was engraved in my mind i always have to look down now listen if you're in a business setting of your or if you're just talking you will look like so insecure if you're looking down and you are not able to look that person in the eyes it's insane it's like literally a killer so what do you need to do start wearing glasses outside make them like i have like really black glasses and uh, i would wear them and i would start looking people in the eyes when they're walking by Obviously, they cannot see that I'm looking at them, so I felt more comfortable. Um, with practicing this, I actually started to feel more comfortable to look at people whilst I'm talking, whilst I'm in a meeting. So um, this thing really helped me. Wear glasses and start looking people in the eye. Start doing things you find cringe or uncomfortable in public. So basically, I find it very, I, I used to find it very cringy to like, record a TikTok video whilst I'm walking outside of myself or anything and I would be like get ashamed immediately, right? But I started to be like, you know what, let's just do it. And like you can get red if you want, it doesn't matter, you continue because that way you are teaching yourself that it's okay. This is not something so big and at the end of the day, those people do not care, they're not looking at you. And the more you do that, the less things you will have that you will feel uncomfortable about. Another thing is your body language. Make sure you like look up, look up. That's so important. Shoulders back, but it doesn't have to be crazy, but make sure you're not walking like this, you know, slouchy. Look at this. How does this look? It doesn't look confident, but look how I'm standing, like chest up, uh, shoulders back, and you're, you literally talk like this. Talk with your hands, make sure you're not scared to take up the room. When you walk somewhere, don't constantly look on your phone. Put your phone away, look around, start walking with your head up high. Uh, when you enter a room, don't look on your phone, don't look down when you enter it, don't like hide away. No, open the door and enter the room, look around, and then say hi. Can I have a table, please? I'm so delusional. Listen, I, if you could go into my mind and if you could see what I think that I can accomplish for myself, you would call me crazy today. But the people that called me crazy before for what I, for what I have right now are all saying, oh wow, she actually did it. So when you are delusional and you actually believe that what you're trying to do, and it has to be a good thing, I'm not saying do like bad stuff and become delusional about that. No, no, no. A good goal that you want for yourself and you're so delusional about, you know what, no matter what, I'm going to achieve this. You are going to achieve this because it's the energy you're radiating. It's what you are manifesting. It's what you're telling yourself. And our brain is the most powerful thing ever. What you believe about yourself will be your reality. Even the way that you think about yourself can affect other people's reality about you. Because I have noticed when I am walking out and I look at myself and I'm like, oh damn, I look fine today. And I'm really happy about the way I look. Other people start to compliment me a lot. But when I have like a day where I just feel uncomfortable and I don't really feel that good and I just wanna be, you know, in my little shell, but I still have to be out. I can see the reaction from people is totally different as well. Literally the way you think about yourself affects other people's reality as well. Listen to meditations, affirmations um, that make you feel confident. I do this when I am doing my skincare or whatever. I have this uh, one affirmation uh, or meditation, whatever that I listen to. I, I really like it. I'm going to put it down below. And it's basically like constantly like uh, saying like you're beautiful, things like that. But it, it doesn't really matter because you can say like, oh no, that's toxic positivity. No, you're training your brain 
to listen to something constantly. And if I am listening to something that says to me constantly, I'm beautiful, I'm beautiful, I'm beautiful. Listen, I'm going to believe I'm beautiful just because I'm constantly like listening to it. It's the same way if I would listen to a meditation or affirmation that says I'm ugly constantly, I would also start to believe that. So, and the brain is wired to believe negativity over positivity. So we ourselves already tell ourselves uh, what, what is wrong with us constantly. So to refresh your brain, listen to something that will actually lift you up. Another thing is when you are walking around, put on some music that makes you feel confident. Or even you wake up in the morning, put on some music that makes you feel confident. Uh, stand in front of the mirror, start dancing, you know. Um, this raises your vibrations as well. So instantly you will become more attractive. And um, also, it just makes you feel comfortable with yourself. So listen to that, even whilst you're walking. If I just uh, like put on a badass song and I'm walking, honey, I feel like I, literally those streets were made by me. Literally. Start making decisions that are best for you. A confident person does what is best for them. People even like to call them selfish. No, they're not selfish. They always know that their needs have to be put forward first because they know that they are the most important person in their own lives. I have like this friend and he's extremely, extremely wealthy, like really, really wealthy. And uh, one time I was invited for dinner and um, there were like a couple other people there and there was like also a producer there. And this producer guy was constantly like talking to my friend. Like, oh yeah, and, and there's this project and blah, blah. And like really trying to impress my friend, like constantly, constantly. It went on for 30 minutes. I felt bad for this producer. So I started to give him like, mm -hmm, yeah, like I am interested because my friend was not giving any reaction at all, like nothing. And then after that guy finished talking, I swear, my friend didn't say a word to him. He finished talking. This was after 30 minutes. He looks at him. And he says, after 5 p.m., I do not talk business. And he just continues with his dinner. I was so shocked. Because I was literally like, oh my God, how powerful was that? He does not accept anyone to cross his boundaries. And that's also honestly why this person is so successful. Even in the ways you eat, uh, what you choose to put in your body, what you choose to watch, everything. Every single time you choose to do something, it's a decision. You decide what is best for you and you start making those decisions because that way you will start to trust yourself more if you make the right decisions. That way you will also become more confident in yourself. Envy and comparison is believing that you cannot have it, okay? Listen, I have never been a really envious person, ever. If someone became successful or, or someone like had something, I would always see that as motivation because I would look at it as like, oh my God, yes, so I can accomplish that as well. If they can do it, I can do it as well, you know? Um, envy is literally thinking that you cannot do it or you do not deserve it, but that is not true. You will never miss out on what is meant for you. And that is very peaceful. If that person has a certain thing at that age, that is what was meant for them. What you have right now is what was meant for you. And you have to create peace with that. Don't focus on what they have. Focus on what you have and believe that you can accomplish it. Believe that you deserve that as well and see it as motivation. See, confidence is not a certain look, right? So create an aesthetic for yourself that you feel most comfortable in. Really look at your style, look at who you are and start to look for different aesthetics. You can look this on Pinterest, like different aesthetics, whatever, and choose the one that is most your vibe. <laughs> for example, if you feel more comfortable with a classy aesthetic, if you feel more comfortable with um, like, you know, those um, sporty clothes, you feel more comfortable with like baggy style, whatever it is that you like as an aesthetic, confidence is feeling comfortable in yourself. It's, you don't have to create this fake aesthetic that you don't feel comfortable in. Sometimes I, myself, I don't feel comfortable in dresses or, or these things, you know? So if I don't feel comfortable, other people will see it and I look quite insecure because I'm not comfortable in what I'm wearing. Um, but 
other days I am comfortable. So then I do choose that aesthetic. So start to think like, what is my vibe? What is my aesthetic? Do not force yourself in certain things that you do not like because it will show that you're forcing it and that you're not being authentic to yourself. No, whatever that is that you like, if even if you you like to more darker styles, like an emo aesthetic, that's also so cool if you're confident in that. Besides all the aesthetics, keep yourself clean and well-groomed. This is so important. Make sure your hair is clean. Um, make sure you, you take care of your skin. Make sure you take care of what you put in your body. Uh, shower, all these things are so important. Um, make sure you, you have your dental checks. Make sure you go to the hospital when something is really wrong. Um, just make sure you keep up with your health and well-being because that is one of the most important things. Healthy from the inside, beautiful from the outside. Sometimes you might be insecure because you think, oh, I'm not getting enough attention or whatever. It might literally be the environment you live in. I have known many women that have moved countries and were shocked by how beautiful they found them in those other countries, you know? Um, I had the same experience, like, Obviously, um, I think I am genuinely an attractive person, but some people are more shocked by my attractiveness than others. And uh, it, it can be like other nationalities that look at me and I'm like, whoa, you know? And then I can go like somewhere else, for example, where they have different beauty standards and there I am not that attractive. Become comfortable with your body and realize that no one is perfect. Listen, no matter how much I try, to like look my best and whatever, I know I will never be perfect. There will always be someone out there that is more beautiful than me. Um, and I am okay with that. There will always be someone out there that is smarter than me, funnier than me, everything. Like it can explain things better than me, whatever. But they're not me. And that's it. And that's good enough for me. I am me with, with things that I cannot fake. Like there's even like things physically that I don't like or that I am like, oh, like, you know, I, I would much rather prefer that it was not there. But still, I just accept it because what can I do about it? Like, I literally cannot. There's certain things that, that you just cannot change. Like, even if you try to do plastic surgery, whatever, certain things you cannot change. Certain things are genetics and whatever. So become comfortable with that and realize that you will never be perfect. No one is perfect, actually. It's draining to constantly strive for something that is just not there. Stop like thinking that, oh, perfection exists. No, there's even this model, she was talking about the fact that she was so beautiful already, like on camera and stuff. She said the way they edit my photos when like um, they release it is insane. Like I have literally cried about how they release my pictures because they completely edit everything. It doesn't even look like me anymore. That's why we, we get a false image of, of what is supposed to what, of what, what we're supposed to look like, but nobody looks like that. It's literally an AI, like it doesn't exist. Also become comfortable with your body by, uh, I, for example, I took belly dance classes. Oh my God, I have never felt more comfortable in my body, literally. I don't know what it was, but it was like this energy and the way you move your body, it feels so good and comfortable. And you walk out of there feeling so confident about yourself. Anyway, with yoga, I was actually listening to a doctor that said that yoga is one of the best things a trauma survivor can do because they have seen that that was most effective with abuse survivors um, because they learn to trust their body again. They can see how their body can move. Um, they, they also, uh, yoga has breathing exercises so that makes them calm down as well. Yoga is very, very good. It's also very good to balance yourself completely from the inside out. Become comfortable with your own company. These days, people do not want to be around themselves. They constantly look for someone to hang out with or look for someone to date because they cannot be alone. I honestly, I am the quite opposite. I need time for myself. I literally tell even my partner, like, please, can you just leave me alone? Like, I want to be alone and uh, maybe just with my cat or something, you know? I really enjoy my own company because I really think that I am really amazing. Like honestly, I would be my own best friend. That's how much I enjoy my own company. Um, I like to sit with myself. Sometimes I do nothing. I just stare at a wall. I like it. it. It's fun to me. But obviously you do not take it to the extremes because when you are constantly alone, you will isolate yourself and you will also not know how to deal with people anymore or how to socialize. And that way you will become more insecure because when you are in a social setting, you, you, you have anxiety. You don't know how to talk to people. And do this by taking yourself out on dates, going uh, on walks with yourself, talking to yourself, hugging yourself, giving yourself a little kiss, 
every single thing you can do looking at yourself in the mirror telling yourself you are so beautiful you are so smart you are so magnetic oh i love your aura treating yourself as you would someone you love sometimes i buy myself flowers sometimes i buy myself gifts um i like it not sit with people that constantly disrespect you um i used to do this and i used to always slide it off and be like oh they don't mean it that way whatever no, because then when you actually make your voice heard and you say like, hey, listen, when they do something really big and you're like, hey, listen, I didn't like that you did that to me. And then they will call you sensitive and you're too emotional because you let all these other things slide before and you continue to, to engage with them whilst they were disrespecting you. No, I'm not saying after like a small little thing, you, you blow up and you leave whatever. No. But if there is continuous disrespect and continuous manipulation of this person telling you, I will change and I will do this, but the action does not line up with what they're saying, then you leave. You do not sit somewhere where someone is disrespecting you. You do not. That is very, that is a sign of very low self-worth. Because you can say, I don't care, but what you're actually saying is, I don't care about myself. Don't get offended or threatened easily. See, I'm the person, I don't like to get disrespected, but I also not the kind of person that will get offended by anything and everything constantly and oh, you have to walk around eggshells. No, I'm really chill, you know, but I have my boundaries and you will not cross my boundaries. Do not get threatened easily. Honey, if you know who you are, if you know what you're capable of, no one can threaten you. What will you do? Who are you? You think I'm afraid? No, honey, sit down. Give people their space. If somebody says to you, hey, listen, I don't want to hang out to, uh, with you today. Or even your boyfriend says like, hey, listen, like I need some space, whatever. Don't immediately go freak out. I'm like, oh my God, why is that? Blah, blah. No, sometimes people like to be alone and they need their own space to collect their thoughts. We are still individuals, even if you are in a relationship. Give people their space. Because if you're going to latch on and be like, why, why, whatever, it looks so desperate. No, say, okay, fine, have your space, do whatever, and you go do your own thing. Have your own space as well then. Realize you are the main character of your life. If I even have to think about the fact that my sister or my other siblings or my mom, like, they have a own life that doesn't revolve around me, I'm shocked. <laughs> because in my head, it's literally all about me, but then sometimes I sit back and I'm like, huh, wait, they also think about themselves like that. Like, it's in their head, they also think about their own lives. And that's just insane to me. But realize that you are the main character of your life. So start acting like it. Do what is best for you. Hang with people that want the best for you. Start taking opportunities that are the best for you. Because at the end of the day, you are your main character. You are living your life. Have expectations for other people and yourself and be unapologetic about it. Listen, if you want something in a partner, if you want something in friends, if you want something looking for a boss or a job or whatever, um, yeah, you can have expectations and you can you can ask for things. Don't let these people manipulate you into thinking that you're asking for too much. No, you're not asking for too much. You're asking the wrong person. And also have expectations for yourself. Say, hey, Liz, I, for example, Liz, I expect you to be like this. I expect you to do this, whatever, blah, blah. People can say, oh, no, that's being harsh on yourself. No, I want to have expectations for myself. If I have no expectations, what will I do? I will do nothing. So really write down and think about it. What are your expectations for yourself? How do you expect yourself to be? How do you expect yourself to show up? How do you expect yourself to act? Start doing gratitude meditations. So I have been doing this now for the past month, every single morning, like it's a five minute one. I will link that one down below as well. And it just, in the morning I sit and I just, think about how my body serves me because that's also what she says in the meditation and it really makes me feel so grateful and grateful people can look at what they have and how abundant they are so in that state you can attract more abundance realize that you create your own reality whatever you think that you deserve or whatever that you think that you can have you will attract and that's it. If you think that you don't deserve a good relationship, if you think that you don't deserve to have money, if you think that you don't deserve to have beauty, confidence, all these things, you will not have it. You will simply not have it because you create your own reality. 
whatever you want will happen because you will create that for yourself. Do what you can with what you have now. Do not think, oh, I don't have this, I don't have this. No, 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 no. Start focusing on what you do have and take what you do have to the next level. Like you can literally create from nothing. You have billionaires today that came from being homeless. These people do not complain. These people actually do what they can with what they have. And that's how you become successful. That's how you become confident. Instead of constantly complaining, see, look at your situation, be like, okay, this is what's going on. This is how I am. And this is what I can do to fix it and or to create peace with that. Realize what kind of blessing you are. Start talking, acting, walking like a blessing because you are. Imagine being old and looking back at your younger self and thinking like, oh my God, why was I so insecure? Like I was, I had everything. Why was I so insecure, right? That's so sad. Literally, live your best life right now. Like, enjoy it. Do silly things. Sometimes you will have such bad days, but enjoy them as well. At the end of the day, when you're when you're older and you can look back at your life, at least make sure you look back at a life that was worth living. Look back at it and say like, yeah, I was that girl. I was that girl. Anyways, I love you guys so much. I will see you in the next video and yeah, I hope you guys learned something. Bye-bye.